Doris Fields found that self-expression can inspire others to find beauty in themselves. Doris, you say that expression is a journey. Why did you create Miss Nelly and Them? Oh, I created Miss Nelly and Them because I needed to. It took me several, I think at least a year to do it. I was needing to express something that I was feeling. I didn't have the language for it. It took me a while and, um, and I realized that she was who needed to come forth. My grandmother always said that our spirits come through our faces, and I've been fascinated and intrigued with faces since then. So putting in a face, mm -hmm. getting a face out, getting the energy in, looking at the history of Africans in America, knowing that there's something spiritual about us, that I needed to understand that. So that's, that's, that's how she came about. Tell us about those faces. What we learned about Miss Nelly, her mother, my grandmother's mother, what we learned about her was that she was very precise with numbers and space and moving things around. And she could tell you exactly what could go where, you know, without, you know, without measuring it or any of that. So, you know, I needed to, I needed to bring her in. I needed to, I needed to reach her. And I also needed to have some sense of my history, the people in, the people in my individual life, but people in my, you know, my communal life. How did you discover the need to express yourself? Frustration, absolute frustration. Having feelings, having deep feelings, but not knowing what they meant or how to express them. Um, so I had to develop some vocabulary for that, written vocabulary or verbal vocabulary and also visual vocabulary. So that's, that's how the absolute frustration of feeling something very strongly, but not being able to identify it or say it. Do you think that that is connected to your ancestors or your ancestral lands or where you come from? Do you think that that need, that struggle to express yourself was rooted in that? Absolutely. Understanding myself as a communal person, recognizing that our people were stolen from their homelands and everything taken away from them, their clothes, their food, the ways they function in families, the ways they function uh, spiritually and so forth. I needed, and, 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 and having this sense that connection with our ancestors wasn't important. And so I knew that it not only is important, but for me it was critical. So I needed to I needed to reach back and understand one that history, but also understand myself and my need to, to, to know it. And you speak about faces and mm -hmm. the spirit of the face. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about ancestor and why that's so important to, uh, to create that piece. If I don't know anything about from whence I come, then I can't really understand who I am, I get a much better understanding who I am when I can look at what, our, find out what our history is. Again, individual, personal, but also collective and communal. So I need to know me. So what does the piece Ancestor say about you, your history, or your identity for that matter? In part, we function in the light, mm -hmm. and in part, we function in shadows. We are disappeared in many, many ways, but we persist in being out there and not, we, I think we're in defiance of that negation. Mm -hmm. I started a series called Black Beauty in the African Diaspora. And for me, it's understanding and, and, and having some respect for the fact that our beauty is present, but in our society, black, women were not considered beautiful. And I always saw that we were. But nothing in society said that black women are beautiful. And I said, yes, we have to show the beauty. And not just the physical beauty, of course, but the internal beauty, who we are inside, but allowing that to come forth.
Tell me about um, your art piece, Keep a Dream in Your Vest Pocket. My mother said, you should always have a sense of hope. And there's a whole thing that she talked about. I wrote a poem, and in that poem, one of the lines is, always keep a dream in your, be in your vest pocket, mm -hmm. always. So it basically, close to your heart. Keep a dream right close to your heart, and then you can go someplace. And you've dreamed quite a bit, and you've gone many places. Uh, where are you at now with your art? What are you expressing? What are you attempting to share uh, with the world through your art at this time in your life? I'm trying to share, I'm, I actually am trying to share the beauty. I think that's really, I, I don't think I can stress that enough. I mean, I, I, see, I see black women, women who are of black African descent everywhere. I mean, they're in cockpits of airplanes, they're flying planes, mm -hmm. they're neurosurgeons, they're lawyers. They're uh, politicians. Um, they're doing everything. They're, they're moms. They're raising children. They're influencing the world. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. That's one of the things I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the gaze of black women onto, get, get people's gaze onto black women. Mm. That's what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. Look at us. And in a meaningful way. In a meaningful way. Not just way. this external, Not the, just kind of commodified external. way. Not, yeah, but looking deeply, being able to see. What message are you conveying through your artistry and your expression? Find yourself. Find you. I, I'm, one of the things I hope with the art is that people will be able to find their own beauty, that be able to be introspective, be able to look inside themselves and see who they are. And I think I see far too many people afraid of their own beauty, afraid to look at themselves. And sometimes something is beautiful, but it may not seem beautiful to others. And you may not even see that, but it's important for me. It's important to be introspective, delve inside, and find the core, and find the love. It really, love is really the piece. Find the love of who you are and who you can be.